Hello, I'm Christy Veach, the Education Director of Modular Robotics. In this video, we want to introduce you to Cubelets as a teaching tool, show you a bit about how they work, and also make sure to share examples from our free lesson plans. Cubelets are great because they're incredibly easy for anyone to get started with, yet they also allow for increasing complexity for the less novice users to keep going. In this video, we're going to show you how easy it is to use Cubelets, how Cubelets create motivation and engagement in your students, and give you some ideas on how to harness that excitement and curiosity so that your students can learn a range of topics and skills. Cubelets are a four and up product, and we mean the up part. Students as old as college have enjoyed and learned from them. One of the best things about Cubelets is this deep age range. The other great thing is that Cubelets are pre-programmed. So making a robot like this can be made right out of the box with no programming knowledge required. This is part of what makes them easy and accessible. You can use Cubelets to teach about robotics, of course, but we also use Cubelets to teach students about computational thinking, complex systems, engineering and design, and even life science, the natural world, and literacy. You can too, so let's get started. First, let's make sure that you have some ideas of what the robots can do. Getting a bit familiar with how the robots work will help you get an idea of how you might put them to work in your class, camp, workshops, or clubs. Nothing replaces doing this with your students and being able to harness their excitement and creativity. But getting some basic information will help you brainstorm how your students might benefit from putting this powerful tool right in their hands. It's important to understand what makes robots special and different from other machines. Our very best, simplest definition is that robots are special devices that can sense, think, and then act. Cubelets are a great way to start teaching with robots because the three types of cubelets match the definition of sense, think, and act of a robot. Black cubelets are sensing. These brightly colored cubelets are all of the thinking functions, and all of the clear cubelets are actions. Those are going to be the doing parts of the robot. For every robot, we'll also need power from this rechargeable battery cubelet. So, let's make a first robot. If I take a battery to power this robot and then add a sense, this black with the knob will work, and then choose an action, this flashlight. So now I've made a flashlight with a dimmer. What's really great about cubelets is they're magnetic. So I can rebuild these cubes quickly and in many different orders. Modularity also means that we can swap components or functions. We'll always minimally need the battery, a black sensing cube, and a clear action cube. But I could swap this sense for a different one. The light will still get bright and dim, but what controls the output value has now changed because we changed the input. It's now a distance sense, and it's using what objects are close and far, right now my hand, as its input. The ability to rapidly rebuild continues. Since we swapped our sense, we can go ahead and swap our action as well. This action, the bar graph, is going to give us some information about magnitude or amount, and we can see now on our output how close is close? How far is too far? If your students were exploring these simple robots, they'd be learning the basics of an input-output, sense-act relationship, as well as gaining some intuitions and practice with rapid prototyping and rebuilding. Once you and your students understand a simple input-output, sense-act relationship, they're going to want to be making robots that do something in real life. So, let's expand on our first robot and make a light-sensing flashlight. This is the robot that we asked students to explore first in the Cubelets Robotics lesson plan. We did this before, but now we're going to use a different sense. So a really quick design includes using the flashlight action that we used before, 
but now a brightness sense. It's going to be sensing how much light comes into this lens. Of course, we're going to need the battery too. So this light is coming on really bright because it's getting a lot of light into this brightness sense. But we can trick this robot into thinking that this sense is getting less light very easily. Your students will also be quick to find or design darker environments for their flashlights, like dark closets and under their desks. Really though, this is a very silly flashlight. Because of the linear relationship between the sense and the action, we have a flashlight that gets brighter when it's bright, like right now, and dimmer when it's dark. This is not going to be any help in a dark, scary basement. By remembering that robots sense, think, and act, we can improve this robot's design by adding a think cubelet. So let's improve this light bot by adding a think function where it can change the information between a sense and an action. It's important to note that between doesn't have to be in a straight line like this, but it does need to allow data to enter from the sense before it reaches the action. So now what's happening is that our flashlight will not only work to help us get out of a creepy dark basement, see how it's working in the dark here, it's also smart enough to know to turn off when it's bright. We use this flashlight example in our robotics lesson, but it's also in our engineering lesson as a demonstration of changing a situation by making something. Our computational thinking lesson plan features this inverse think cubelet as well, because it's a great hands-on way for students to grasp what we mean by a programming function. All of our lesson plans can be used for engaging students in lots of rebuilding and redesign, and of course, critical thinking and problem solving. We also know many teachers and educators who use Cubelet's lesson plans to build on students' collaborative and group work skills, or to add written components to tackle literacy too. Of course, student engagement is really through the roof when we start to make robots that move. If we add drive action cubelets to our robots, we're going to be on the move now. Aside from being tons of fun, adding this drive action function to our robots is a great illustration for students of all ages on how there can be more than one solution to a challenge or a problem. A quick example of this is asking students to make a robot that will drive towards them like a pet or a creature that loves them. A quick rebuild of these same cubelets in the same order, but now changing orientation. This robot is now going to drive away. It's going to scurry away and be afraid of us. Our life science lesson plans encourage students to keep rebuilding these moving robots to emulate living organisms and their responses. With these same three simple cubelet functions, our distance, our drive, and our battery, you can challenge students to build a cliffhanger robot that will not drive off the edge of a table. This is a powerful example of using cubelets to represent programming functions and the concept of sequence in programming, so it's included in our computational thinking unit. Students also often love to build tall robots. And this one is especially tippy. But with a quick redesign, your students can discover how to do some engineering and design trade-offs and adjustments to create a more stable tall bot. This is one of the many robot examples in our engineering lesson plans. As your students become more engaged and curious, they will begin to name their own challenges and design their own investigations. Before we leave you, I want to encourage you to check out our free education materials. We have activities, lesson plans, and whole units free to download. This is one way that we help you apply cubelets to content areas and to be meeting standards with your students. 
We look forward to hearing your more detailed questions about teaching with our robots at modrobotics.com slash education.